there's no, never anything new here. We don't believe in, in rebuilding. Uh, we'll retool with guys that can come in here, whether they're freshmen, transfers, or, or guys that have been in the program that get an opportunity. But we believe in, in winning, uh, playing a great brand of baseball, and uh, hopefully playing well enough to be there at the end. I think the biggest thing for us is like uh, coming together as a team. Pretty much the whole team is, is fairly new, and throughout the fall, we've been working to come together and kind of bind and get that like good glue cohesion with everybody. I don't know that we're there at 100% yet, but I think when we get there that this team is going to be very dangerous. Whoever has a really good year, um, it's going to be a challenge the following year because it's, it's only going to get harder, you know, and that just means you have to work harder than you have before, and I've done that with myself. I realize this year is going to be, I might get pitched differently too, um, I might have less opportunities, so you really have to challenge yourself in the off season. Well, I think they, they understand how big uh, leadership is. I think they understand how big uh, leading by example is. It's not always the, the rah-rah guy that you're looking for at a leader, because sometimes you're looking for that person that, that leads through their actions on the field. These guys have, uh, you know, the guys that are going to get an opportunity to play that haven't, have, have really tried to master their craft behind somebody that was unfortunately a little bit better at the time. Um, so that's pushed them their, their entire time, so now they have the opportunity to compete for some playing time. So I'm anxious to see uh, how it turns out. I said it last year, but I've never had, especially uh, the last year I've never had a team bring me in you know, so quick and it just instantly felt like a family. And when that happens, it makes it so much more comfortable when you're out there. You just have the feeling everyone's behind you, you know they're rooting for you. So it just made it so much easier. I felt relaxed, and when you're, when you're playing relaxed, uh, typically success leads to it. So. That was a big, big plus for me uh, to come in last year and everyone just have that uh, feeling towards me. I've always played a tough schedule early, or scheduled a tough uh, schedule early. I like to see where we're at. Um, you know, I know we don't have the veteran players that we've had in the past as far as the amount of them, um, but, but this will allow our chance to, to some of the veterans to step up, uh, some of the younger guys to get some of that in-game experience against quality competition, and we'll see where it, where it goes from there. I set a goal for myself for basically just being the best that I can possibly be no matter what and it doesn't really matter what I want my role to be because no matter what like I'm going to always accept what they put me out there whether it's in the bullpen starting closing a game I'm just always trying to be prepared for what I need to do for the team. It's so hard to get there I mean you, you, you set goals you set conference championship goals you set regional goals and World Series goals and you know, this program has been very fortunate. I, this is what, my 10th year we've been there five times or something like that. And it's so daggone hard to get there that, you know, I can't sit there and say sometimes, yes, it's talent, um, sometimes it's luck, but usually it's the teams that, that it's not rocket science, the team that play the best baseball, you know, in a nine inning game or in, in a weekend or in a seven day World Series tournament. The teams that play the best complimentary baseball are usually the ones that are playing on the last day. Three, one, two, three.